another day, another very, very, very tired face. I've had a total of three hours sleep. I'm back at an airport. This time, it's Gatwick. And this time, we're off to Mallorca for quite possibly, I think, one of the biggest shoots I've ever done. Claudia has just arrived. I'm in desperate need of black coffee, but my goodness me, is this gonna be a trip. We're very lucky. We've got Claudia in the back looking like a bougie princess. And um, <laughs> and the sun is shining. Honestly, I think I've had quite possibly one of the most stressful weeks and it's only Wednesday. I mean, I say that with a pinch of salt. I know what's going on in the world at the moment, but I had two brands pull out due to the spring summer collections not arriving in time. We then had an obscene amount of brands reach out because they wanted to be a part of this shoot. Um, and I received a WhatsApp video from my husband, of which I will insert here, with about 30 centimeters of snow. Snow. We're shooting spring summer campaigns here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so I thought, literally, I was That's speaking to nice. Claudia <laughs> at about 11 o'clock last night thinking, what are we gonna do? Do we go? Do we yeah, go? Going, what not? was the answer? Of course. <laughs> of course we're going. And thank goodness we did. Literally, let me show you this. Bright blue skies. It is 15 degrees absolutely glorious sunshine so Marcus is taking us firstly to the apartment of which we are going to drop our bags I'm then going to take Claudia to the house to show her the exquisite gardens we're going to do a little bit of scouting for shoot locations um, we've got a lot to get through we are working with some magnificent brands this week I'm so excited all things spring summer I do also think we should go and have a little look at the callas I think today is such beautiful weather. It's such an opportunity that possibly we could shoot a few things tonight. Um, we're also gonna pop over to the Canferetta because we're working with them this week to shoot some incredible content for the hotel. It is their first day that they have opened this year. So I will take you there, show you around. And I have a feeling we're going to have a spot of lunch there too. <laughs> Maybe a cocktail Sorry, or two. <laughs> Get us in the mood. Anyway, it's going to be the most amazing few days out here. We've got a lot to do, a lot to achieve, but we are going to shoot some incredible content. I went for the Caesar salad with the Caesar dressing on the side. Happy Wednesday. Claudia's looking so chic over there. Claudia went with, what did you have, darling? You went for the pasta. Yeah, look, she has absolutely her. scrumptious. And Marcus, I've got major food envy. What is this? I'm so sad that we have a massive photo shoot for the next three days, otherwise that would be mine. And yours. Muchas gracias. It is such a special hotel. The service, the rooms, it truly is fantastic. It is actually the 
first day they have opened this year. First of March, <laughs> we are the first ones in for lunch and it has been absolutely scrumptious. I'm now going to go and have a meeting with their PR team as we are doing a little bit of shooting for them this week. So you will be seeing lots of this pool. There's my handsome husband walking down there. <laughs> You'll be seeing lots of this fall. Claudia and I are going to create just some magnificent content. So I cannot wait. We are location scouting. So I've just come down to one of the colours. This is a private colour and it is so beautiful. <laughs> Claudia is just getting a few of the behind the scenes stories. And so we've been to the house, we've been to the Camferretta, we've been to the Cala Santani, Calador. This is another colour that Marcus has actually found. And I think it's absolutely perfect for the type of content we want to shoot this week. We're thinking right, right on the edge there. Beautiful water splashing up the side. We've got some really magnificent dresses. And um, I think it's going to be amazing. Gosh, look at the tide going all the way out. <gasps> Doesn't that look incredible? I think this is gonna be amazing with like the sun setting, the golden hour, pick up the light, the beautiful like, jewelry. Even this light. This like, light. Exactly now. Okay, so what is like the time sun, now? Somewhere else. So we are currently at about half past, seven. yeah, four, four o'clock. Oh, look at the water. Oh my goodness, we're gonna to have to run. Did you just see where the water was a moment ago? Okay. Now <laughs> it's here. We're going to be shooting out there and then the water's going to be coming in. I have a feeling we may get wet, but this is magical. Well, we couldn't resist this beautiful... <gasps> oh, it's very cold! This beautiful sunshine. So we've decided to get out here and shoot in this incredible light with the jewellery. <gasps> Literally in the most ridiculous colour. Honestly, look at this light and look at how it hits this magnificent jewellery. Honestly, I have the best backup team. Tomorrow we have full hair and makeup stylists, but we just thought we'd get out here, have a little trial, have a little test, and create some truly magical content. Everybody. Well, I certainly look a little bit different to the last time when I spoke to you. <laughs> um, the incredible Marta makeup artist is here oh. and she has just created the most exquisite first look for the shoot today. As you know, we have so much to get through. So I am on the makeup chair. Marta has her incredible kit set up behind her. And maybe you can talk through what we've done today, what, what sort of yeah, techniques you've used, what's the look, first look. So we've done, um, I think what we essentially wanted to achieve is that timeless, classy, um, glowy, natural look um, without obviously, uh, for, the first, um, for the first look we're shooting, I think this is going to be absolutely incredible um, and we can easily top it up. So yeah. What we've done is we focus on making the skin look absolutely flawless, glowy, contoured, um, blushy within. Um, we've used a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products um, to achieve that and we've also used some beautiful hourglass products. Um, on I've learned so many tips and tricks. I know I always say this to you but I work with so many different makeup artists and yeah you have like the most incredible technique. I've learned the whole nose contouring mm -hmm. and just making it look super natural but yet still using those really professional techniques Absolutely. that you have. No I'm really excited. 
So as I said, we've got quite a lot to get through today and we've also, um, the looks are very different. So essentially we're starting off quite natural. I know I look sort of quite different to what you're used to, um, but as we go through the looks into the evening, we're gonna do a sunset look um, with the light and we're then gonna build it up. Absolutely. And um, yeah, it's gonna be fab, so. <laughs> We've got Claudia over here having breakfast. <laughs> so she is fueling herself, getting ready for the day. Marta is a woman of many talents. She's also an incredible hairstylist. So we are just finishing off the hair for the first look. And she has got this amazing volume, volumizing, volume, volumizing pulver. Oh, there we go. I mean, I mean, look at that. <laughs> wow. There we go. We're ready to rock and roll. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So we're getting some major <laughs> volume in there. Love it. And obviously going with my classic with the yeah, hair over to the side, this one behind the ear and some really gorgeous classic big bouncy curls. We are at the location, got the team here, the makeup is absolutely flawless. I'm sorry that I have to admit that we're actually on look two, I completely forgot to turn the camera on and show you look one, but I'm currently wearing an exquisite me and M dress, this is their March drop. Please excuse the bashing. <laughs> the builders are currently working inside the house and we are shooting in these absolutely incredible orange trees. I think it just looks absolutely stunning with the dress. I've got the girls here. <laughs> it's so gorgeous and we're just having the best time. We're getting the most ridiculous content. It's so different yet it's just, it's magical here and I can't wait for you guys to see it. That is look two done. I'm now just going up to change into look three, shooting a beautiful um, Zimmerman dress next. Again, the light is beautiful. It's not super sunny outside, so I'm feeling very grateful that we shot in golden hour last night. Hoping the sun does come out this afternoon, um, and it's meant to be glorious tomorrow, so I'm gonna get so much content. But that is done, out the way, smashed it so different and I can't wait for you guys to see the content. I'm gonna pop on this beautiful Zimmerman number and see you in a momento. The third look is on along with my coat because I am perishingly cold as per usual. Um, again, beautiful Zimmerman dress. Look at this makeup. I am literally glowing, gosh. <laughs> absolutely stunning. Right, let's go and shoot this. We're gonna to go to the fountain and get something incredible with this beautiful Zimmerman number minus the puffer coat. <laughs> Off to the next location. We're gonna shoot in front of this beautiful fountain. I think the dress will look gorgeous against all the beautiful stone. Oh, I just wish the sun was shining. But we have Marta with the reflector. She's doing a fabulous job faking the sun. Oh my goodness me. This is incredible and it's so peaceful here. It's just absolutely exquisite. Look three is a wrap. However, it is a little bit rainy. I don't want to ruin the hair or the makeup. We're now going back to the apartment to do golden hour makeup. We're gonna to shoot tonight in the dark with some incredible lighting um, and a beautiful dress. Oh, let's go and warm up. I am perishingly cold. So cold I can't even like speak. We are now in the car. We are warming up. Poor girls, the talent on this team this week is absolutely obscene. I go from looking super glam in these beautiful gowns and jewellery to literally looking like, I don't know, what a ridiculous my puffer coat. Anywho, we are warming up in the car. We're gonna go back to the apartment, um, have a cup of tea, a few little chalky bickies. We're gonna put on a little bit more makeup. We're gonna do a real glam evening look have a beautiful copper Zimmerman dress this evening. We're gonna shoot it in the dark with some amazing lights. So I'm really, really looking forward to doing that. Um, and yeah, we're off for dinner tonight at a sushi restaurant. It's all go, go, go here. Um, and obviously I wanna take care of the team and make sure that they are having a good time and fed and watered. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the apartment. 
redo the makeup and shoot the last look of today. The hair has gone up and oh my goodness, is Marta ridiculously talented. Obviously this is gonna come out, but look at the volume. The back of it is absolutely stunning. I can't wait to shoot tonight. So we're gonna go full glam makeup. What's glam. your What's your idea, Re? My face. <laughs> so because we've got a beautiful base already, we're gonna top up the eyeshadow. We're gonna add some more goldy and browny tones. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna change the lipstick to a more nude -y, Kind of, I would say, Kim K full lips with Ooh. some beautiful... Um, little Kim K lip. I yeah. love it. With, um, topped up with a little bit of gloss. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to glow you up and we're going to bronze you up as well. Yeah. And add some beautiful glow to the chest. I know, I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of an English rose. I'm as pale as they come. So we're going to get bronzed up and just, yeah, the biggest glow up is just about to happen. Okay, so top five desert island products but desert island that's like so you are literally deserted on an island you can only have five products what would they be your backstage foundation oh, i've not tried it not tried it okay that's going to be on my list um oh you're a la mer girl la mer powder oh so this is a setting powder is it yes Mm, okay, oh my goodness, you've blown my mind with two products that I like have not heard anything about. Okay. Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Yes. Good girl, because it doubles up as a bronzer and an eyeshadow. Mm. Yes. Okay. Um what else would I choose? I would have to go for the hourglass blushes. Oh, beautiful, oh, amazing. Is a palette, so Can I have a little look at the inside? Yeah. Oh God, that's stunning. So you've got real pinky pinks, you've got coral pinks, bronzy pinks, and again, you can double that up as an eyeshadow as well. And they are quite glowy as well, so mm. they can act as a highlighter. highlighter. Oh, I like it. Okay, so we're gonna be, we're doing a full base here with five products, I love full it. Full base, and... Do I you now, you've one left, is it mascara? It is mascara. Uh, or is it, or is it a brow? <laughs> Is it a lip? Oh my goodness. No, it has to be mascara. It has okay. to be push up lashes. Okay, Charlotte push up Tilbury. lashes. I love it. I'm just not a massive fan of the brush. But but other people get on with it. Like you say, it's your best for all your brides. Mm. Highly recommended. Oh, I love all your top tips and tricks. Gosh, amazing. Thank you so much. Mm. I've just almost had my world rocked. So we're doing like a brow on the lip. Brown lip liner, we're going to fill it in with a lighter lipstick, but we're going to have a beautiful shaped lips. Um, and I am using the Charlotte Tilbury eye pencil instead of a lip pencil, because eye pencils tend to be waterproof and they stay on for much longer than the lip oh pencils, and they are also super soft. So we're using it in Walk of No Shame. Walk of No Shame, I love that. Oh my goodness. You've like changed the way I think about makeup. And I mean, I'm a real big makeup girl. Like I have worked with so many different makeup artists over the years and learned so many tips and tricks. So it's not like I know nothing, but like I have learned so much today. And also I've never gone, gone brown on my lips before. And I think it's gonna like make my blue eyes pop. Obsessed. Full lip. Full lip. Full lip surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Without the surgery. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're almost finished the makeup for the last two looks. And as I said before, we're going to shoot this in the dark with the incredible lighting. So essentially this looks like quite a lot now, but in the dark with the amazing lighting, this is going to literally glow. I'm obsessed with the dark lip. I never do a dark lip. Incredible. Like, this is gorgeous if I'm allowed to say that myself. <laughs> I'm not talking about my face, <laughs> I'm talking about the makeup. <laughs> it's gorgeous. So for the last two looks tonight, I'm shooting this gorgeous Zimmerman dress and then an Arvel number in the center of saint outside this incredible church, cathedral, I don't know, chapel. It's absolutely beautiful, typical Mallorquian stone. It's absolutely stunning and I think it's going to look incredible with the lights. Oh, 
casually changing on the street. <laughs> Always my favorite thing to do. It's also freezing cold. Taking out these clips and then the hair is ready to rock and roll. <laughs> location Marcus is quite a little out of the spotter in terms of picking some incredible locations he's found this beautiful courtyard <laughs> he's also being the most incredible assistant this evening with the light how do we feel how do we feel we're doing very well very very well oh you know what they say <laughs> either need a supportive partner or no partner at all and he's there with the light being an absolute rock star. Honestly, I'm so grateful to have the most special people around me. Look at this courtyard. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at this tree. Oh, it's all copper tones. Claudia can't even contain herself. She's like, just nuts. Look number, look number. Seven. 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 We're crazy. Done. That's a wrap for today. <laughs> Honestly, absolutely smashed it. This content is gonna be <laughs> next <laughs> level. Luxury by Leonora in Mallorca. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if when you're seeing this, you can hop over onto my Instagram. My fingers crossed a couple of the reels might be up. Um, but what a day. Absolutely smashed it. So looking forward to it. We are now off to a gorgeous sushi restaurant in neighboring town. So and then the rest. <sighs> and tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna rest. <laughs> Good night's sleep. Serious scrub of the face to get this makeup off. And then tomorrow we are shooting some incredible country brands, shooting all their spring summer campaigns. So I'm so excited. Right, let's go and eat our body weight in some sushi. Oh my goodness. Oh, hi, it's a sausage. A beautiful sausage. What have you got? What have you got? You got a bone. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hola. Hola, como esta? Oh my goodness, you are delicious. Oh, you are really scrumptious. Oh, is that a good scratch? Oh, you beautiful. You're one very different sausage. One very different sausage. You are beautiful. You are so beautiful. Day one, done, <laughs> done. Yeah. I'm like, one or two. Physically and mentally exhausted. We've still got two days to go. Tomorrow is gonna be amazing. So we're shooting for the Canferetta tomorrow, which is a beautiful hotel on the island. So I will take you there, I will show you around. We were there yesterday um, for lunch, just to see the team, to make sure everything was set up and organized for tomorrow. Um, but I will give you guys a little bit of a tour because the hotel is just stunning. They have a gorgeous pool area. And um, so we're there tomorrow morning shooting in the sunshine, fingers crossed. It's not going to be as cold as this. So we're gonna call it a night. We're going home. We're going to go to bed, sleep, and I will see you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for another day shooting tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. 
everybody. I'm looking somewhat like a poodle. I've just taken my rollers out and this is our location for this morning. We are outside the Canfretta Hotel. It is absolutely beautiful. I have taken you here before. We were here on Wednesday and then it's one of my favorites when I come to Mallorca for lunch. They've got an amazing restaurant and we are shooting all things spring summer by their pool today. So we've got two to three looks that we're gonna shoot here. I will also take you on a very, very quick tour of the hotel so that you can see how beautiful it is. And if ever you're in Mallorca, in Santani, it is an absolute must come and visit. This is the beautiful entrance. As you can see, it is super Mallorquian, yet with a little bit of a modern twist. So this is the reception area. They have a beautiful lounge, which also takes you through to the bar area. It's also where you have breakfast in the morning. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you that breakfast is sensational. Claudia looking chic as ever. Honestly, I think people question whether, who's the model in this instance? <laughs> She's so exquisite. Right, let's go and have a little look at the courtyard and the pool area. I just love how they have all these little details. I mean, how effective is this? such an old-fashioned little trailer yet yeah, look at all these beautiful herbs you've got the rosemary the thyme the lavender i think it's just so gorgeous and then they have this gorgeous terrace area again you can have breakfast out here or drinks in the evening hopefully that sun is going to poke out and in here which is actually private and kept only for hotel guests. So when you're staying here, it is super tranquil and it's really, really relaxing. But look at how beautiful that is. I mean, it is just stunning. They also have these beautiful rooms with gardens. So this is actually the room that Mark and I always stay in, number five, and it's just gorgeous. So you have a little terrace area with the garden out the front. I love the fact that their logo is CF. It's actually the logo of our house at home. <laughs> so it'd be really rather handy to have a few towels. Maybe I can buy some, or maybe I just need to have our own monogram done at home. I love all of their branding. It really is just so beautiful and classy. Look at those olive trees. Oh my goodness me, we're definitely going to have to do something a little bit like this at home. This is closed up for the moment because it's actually quite early here this morning. So this is a fabulous pool bar and you can have lunch. This is where you saw us have lunch the other day. And they have an incredible dining space. La Fresca is the restaurant here. Maybe I can give you a little bit of a peek in there and you can see what it's like. This is a little lounge area, so you can snuggle up with a good book here. Sometimes where I work, actually, Wi-Fi is insane here. They probably don't want me here working on the Wi-Fi. However, it is such a gorgeous setting. And then they also have some rooms over here. Look at this gorgeous walkway. Absolutely beautiful, full of bamboo, and the lighting here in the evening is so magical. They have absolutely nailed the garden lighting. It is so atmospheric and stunning. And then, these are rooms and suites at the back, and down here is the spa area. When I was here, I think in October last year, I had quite possibly the best massage I've ever had in my entire life at Selkama Spa. It was just honestly mind-blowing. She used all these incredible tools on my back. Absolutely amazing. This is the heavenly spa here at the Camferetta. Honestly, it's so tranquil and beautiful. Everything here is truly creme de la creme. It's also one of my favorite paintings. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful woman in the ocean by an artist called Hendrik Lemaire. Absolutely stunning. Let's go and have a little look at one of the treatment rooms. It's so quiet. It's beautifully decorated. Honestly, their interior designer has done the most incredible job. Look at that. 
for a heavenly spa experience. As I said, I had a treatment here in October and she used the most amazing tools. Look at how soft this is. I wish you could feel this. It's just beautiful. Every treatment room has a shower and as you can see, look at these products. So, so calming, beautiful and luxurious. And that is not it, ladies and gentlemen. They have a beautiful indoor pool here. So you go through to the changing rooms. They're all private. Everybody has their own changing room. You have gorgeous mirrors and taps. Hello there. <laughs> and in here is the indoor spa area. Is that not just stunning? It is so warm in here, it's so peaceful. Again, I brought my laptop down here, a book, and it's just such a beautiful hotel. The service here is next level. It's about 40 minutes from Palma, so you can get straight into the city if needed. You've got shower areas, they have a sauna, a steam room. It really is a 10 star experience. There we go, and there he is, the sauna. Marcus absolutely adores it here. So for the moment, we've been using the spa area just for days off, coming and just relaxing at weekends because the house is not yet finished. And it's just such a beautiful hotel all in all. Claudia, what do you think? It's so gorgeous. Yeah, jump in. <laughs> It's stunning. Well, if we get our jobs done today, maybe we can come and have a relaxing afternoon by the pool. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> mm, so delicious. So delicious. Having a black coffee. Warm up. First look done. I'm now going to pop on a beautiful yellow lemon dress and I'm going to shoot in the sunshine. A little sneak peek of last night <laughs> featuring a very special guest. Marcus said, can I have a picture with you? <laughs> oh, look at that. Insane. Quick, quick, quick. I don't want to show people too much. This is the little one. <gasps> Insane. Oh my goodness me. What an evening. So for the second look today, we are shooting this beautiful me and M bright yellow dress. It's got these exquisite details, the cuffs, it's got a beautiful bow on the back. And as you can see, the setting is just perfect. I am obsessed. We've just got to take the pictures of this one now and then we're done. We're done. Well, we're done here. In, in this location. In this location. And then where are we going? Palma di Mario. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived in Palma, the very, very famous cathedral. It still takes my breath away every single time I see it. Literally going from the country to the city within like 40 minutes. We are now shooting for one of my favorite brands, which is Guinea London. I'm wearing their blazer. Look at this detail. It's absolutely stunning. This is a piece that I wear time and time again. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Navy blazer, stunning stood up collar, all the detail on the cuffs, gold buttons, and it's also cropped. So I'm wearing it with a high-waisted pair of white jeans. Because I need to feed my team, we are going to my all-time favorite restaurant here in Palma, which is El Camino. It is the most amazing um, Spanish restaurant, tapas at the bar. So I'd highly, highly recommend it. It is just here on the left-hand side. El Camino. Oh, I cannot wait. These are the famous El Camino courgette flowers and they are stuffed with goat's cheese. They will change your life. <laughs> We had to have two because we couldn't share them. And because I am the absolute patron pepper queen, I'm not sharing them with anyone. Look at these. Absolute heaven on a plate. 
This is a grilled artichoke with a basil and paprika on the top. And you cannot come to El Camino without having one of their classic tortillas. Look at this. Oh my goodness me. The gooeyness inside is so yummy. Next stop, we're going to come and see Carmina, which is the most beautiful handmade shoe store. Look at these stunning shoes, all handmade, made to measure. Marcus has his eyes on a few pairs over here. Daddy, however, has bought the entire shop. Now changed outfits again. Look number four today. I've got the gorgeous blouse. This is the Guinea London blouse on. It's got beautiful pearl buttons. I'm obsessed. And I've popped, what do you think? Oh, you're thinking outside there with the black awnings. Beautiful. We're literally scouting for shoot locations to ensure we get the perfect, perfect, sort of like background vibe, color code to make sure that this pops to perfection. Um, yeah, we're gonna shoot this and then we're gonna go back home. I've gotta finish off all my emails. It's a Friday, love a Friday. You guys know I like to get super organized for the Monday. And as we've been literally shooting for the last two days, my inbox is horrible. Um, anyway, right, let's get this done and I will see you in a bit. It is officially golden hour. We have very, very quickly changed. So the light is absolutely beautiful. So we are currently in Alcaria Blanca, which is the next door village to Santani. And as you can see, there are hundreds of green shutters. So I thought the me and M dress would go perfectly in the golden hour light with these incredible green shutters. For the last look of today, I'm shooting this truly breathtaking piece by Tivon Fine Jewelry. Now these are extremely rare aquamarines and morganites set in rose gold and diamonds. Look at the craftsmanship. It is truly magnificent. I have a feeling these are going to sparkle this evening. The last look of the day. It is quarter to eight. The sun has gone down. It is now dark. I have my favorite assistant at the back there. He is being honestly my knight in shining armor. And of course, it's me. We have Claudia, the absolute boss of videography. We are shooting, as I said before, this incredible necklace. Mark is acting as the light assistant and security this evening. <laughs> I've also got my Jesus sandals on, just in case I need to run. Um, Tivon, I promise you, I am taking very, very good care of this jewelry. Um, yes, we are shooting with the light under the stars and it's gonna be breathtaking. Not possibly as breathtaking as this jewelry piece, but hopefully close. Now for a very quick full look of the last look of the day, our gorgeous pair of pink satin Lucy Choi shoes. They're so comfortable and a firm favorite. And then I have one of my favorite Zimmerman dresses. I think it complements this incredible jewelry to perfection. Well, that is a wrap for today. I've quickly got changed. In all honesty, it wasn't good enough. The lighting, wasn't good enough the location wasn't good enough so we have called it a day we have another shoot location tomorrow that is i think the best the best yet so we are going to reshoot it tomorrow in the sunlight instead of in the dark i think the jewelry is just too incredible for a plain location for a plain location it needs to be incredible. the best mm -hmm. so i'm taking claudia to one of our other favorite restaurants which is an italian um called bacco he's crazy but the food is delicious finally cheers my darlings work hard play hard got a treat the superstar <laughs> One of the very special things about this restaurant is that all this food arrives, yet you haven't ordered it. <laughs> so first up, we have a carrot and ginger soup with beautiful bruschetta toast with olives, obviously the bread. Mm, the scent of the ginger is absolutely delicious. Rocket salad, orange filet, and 
sauce do with rocket salad and orange. Oh my goodness me, the scent is incredible. The bitter, the sweet, sour, and uh, amazing. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> you are going to have to roll me back to the UK. I'm meant to being extremely good because obviously we're here shooting. <laughs> But the steak is too good to resist. Oh. Claudia, what did you go for? I don't really know. It was like <laughs> special. It was a special one. It's like a meat ravioli. And Marcus went for the beetroot ravioli. My goodness, you're gonna have to help me here, ladies and gentlemen. This is huge. <laughs> oh my goodness, Claudia. Oh. So this is Baco. It's very, very eclectic. The gentleman that owns it and runs it is absolutely crazy. He has fallen in love with Claudia. <laughs> what do you think? What was your Baco experience like? Like Italians, they always love me. <laughs> they always love you. Food is absolutely, hang on, I'll turn you around. Food was absolutely sensational, yes, as always. Baco has fallen madly in love with Claudia. I hope you enjoyed your first Baco experience. No, it was amazing, yeah. Oh my so goodness to, me. Now I have to come back. Here. You have to come back. I have to come back. Have to come back. Have to come back. Absolutely. Well, uh, it's been a long day and it's been a busy day, but it incredible. has been an incredible, incredible day. And um, we are going to go home. I'm going to get tucked up snug as a bug in a rug have a very good night's sleep and tomorrow we have just three looks to shoot three looks to shoot and then it's home time and then editing <laughs> and then okay, that's that's up to you babe that is up to you just 15 reels just 15 reels just the odd 15 reels and the odd sort of 3000 images <laughs> Exactly. Um, but yes, anyway, on the way home, just walking back to the apartment now, we're going to get a very, very good night's sleep and I will see you guys bright eyed, guess what, bushy tailed tomorrow. Hello everybody, another beautiful day here in Palma, it's just absolutely beautiful. Now we have three more looks to shoot, so I've been up, got the hair done makeup done and we've actually come down to the port in Palma. As you can see they have some beautiful boats here. For one of the last looks I'm shooting this beautiful, very timeless and elegant gal van dress from Harrods with the stunning diamond collier. Ooh, people are getting a bit leery. Uh, with the matching diamond earrings. It's absolutely beautiful and look at this backdrop. It is absolutely stunning and I cannot wait for you to see what this superstar <laughs> has just filmed. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, a wrap. <laughs> Smashed it. 14 looks. Absolutely incredible. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Beautiful. I look utterly ridiculous right now. I'm walking around in the most beautiful silk spaghetti strapped dress. It's tiny. We are now going to obviously put the jewellery in a safe place and then go for a spot of lunch and then, and then to the airport. <laughs> Not before a few more Padron peppers and some croquettes. <laughs> I'm very, very grateful to have this man with me today. For the last restaurant, we are taking Claudia to the Tas Club, which is amazing. It's another tapas restaurant. It's also got an amazing cigar selection. Um, so highly recommend if you are in Palma. So let's go and get our last load of Padron peppers. <laughs> mm -hmm. 